everybody. I'm here today to show you and tell you how to turn a stove top on and off. This will be a tutorial for stove top elements. Once again, the topic of this video, this is easy, super easy to follow along with and understand instructional video is how to turn a stove top on and off, a tutorial for stove top elements. So if you're wondering and you wanna know how to turn a stove top on and off, this will be a simple tutorial for the stove top elements. Let's get right into this video tutorial. I know I said that three times. I was just kind of getting myself straight because I filmed a whole bunch of content, so I was just getting mixed up. And just for the last time, just to make this video funny because I really drive the point home all the time. The topic of this video is how to turn a stove on and off. A tutorial for your stovetop elements. So as you can see right here, now that that long intro is out of the way, these are the stovetop elements. They're obviously cool. It's not a hot surface. You can see that's not illuminated. So they haven't been turned on in a long time. So I can, you know, put my hand on them like this because they're, they're cool. They haven't been used in the entire day. Um, since they, like it's been at least like, you know, since last night. So it's been at least like around 16 hours since anyone has used the stove. So they're nice and cool, okay? Now essentially, you're gonna have multiple stovetop elements on your stove and you're gonna wanna identify what, which one, the, uh, the one that you want to turn on or off. So on this one, there's four actually. So there's one, two, three, four. This is a warming zone. It doesn't really count. I mean, it does, but not really, um, just because uh, this is controlled with a different uh, with a different button, different mechanism. But for these four elements over here, okay, they're really, really easy to turn on and off. If you have stovetop knobs like this one, th that's how you do it. If you have a digital stovetop with buttons, that's a bit different. But if you have knobs like this, really, really easy to do, okay? So essentially, um, each knob knob corresponds with a different element. So right here you can see this one over here corresponds with the top right element, which is this one over here. This one corresponds with the bottom right, which is this one over here. That's the top left, which is right here, and that's the bottom left, which is right here, okay? So you have to identify the one that you want to turn on, okay? Now, let's say I want to turn on this one over here, the top right element. I would identify it on the stove, which is right here, the top right element right here. And all that you have to do is you gotta push the knob in a little bit and turn it and release it. So I'm gonna push the knob in, turn it and release it. And right now that stove top element will turn on. It will, it will start glowing red. I'm gonna turn it a little bit higher just so you can see over here. Okay, so you can see right there. And obviously I'm gonna keep my hand very far away from it. It is, it is, it is on. It's kind of hard to tell in the camera, but that is on. So that's how to turn it on. Now to turn it off, what you have to do is just turn it until it clicks into the off position. So you usually, in most stovetops, you won't have to push it in to turn it off. You just turn it until it clicks into the off position. So once again, this is the one that's on. I'm gonna turn it, and there you go. It clicked into the off position. And you can verify that it's off because there will be some indicator on the stove telling you that no cooktops are on. So right here it says cooktop on with that light right there. It's not illuminated. That means the cooktop is off, okay? So the cooktop is not on, the cooktop is off. However, it's telling me that there's a hot surface. Because I turned it on, it is hot, so obviously, you know, stay far away from it. Um, yeah, so that's how to turn it on and off. Now, there is a little caveat, a little additional piece over here. Some stovetop elements are gonna have <coughs> multiple settings. Sorry about that. So let's see this one over here. This one is cool, that's why I have my hand here. Like I said, it hasn't been used. This one has three different settings. We have an inner ring, a middle ring and an outer ring, okay? So if I go and I wanna turn this one on over here, it's the bottom left burner, so I'm gonna go to the bottom left one over here, and you can see there are three different options here. There's the middle ring, sorry, the inner ring over here, the middle ring over here, and the all three rings over here, okay? So sorry, I should say the inner ring, inner and middle, and then all three. So if I wanted to just turn on the inner ring, and I'll, I'll put it down a little bit so you can kind of see right there, there you go. Now, I didn't really, I realized I moved it down about a quarter of an inch, but still, a little bit better. So once again, we're going to the bottom left burner. This is the bottom left burner right over here. If I just want to go for the inner ring, I'm going to turn it to the inner ring section. And only the inner ring will then turn on. You'll see right here, you can kind of see, it's hard to tell. I, if I turn off these lights, it should be a little bit better. There you go, sorry, I should have done that before. The inner ring is on. If I wanted the middle two rings, to go on, I would go to the next setting. So now, this is for the middle two rings over here, and you're gonna see that it's gonna open up a little bit more, as you can see right over there, okay? And then if I wanted all three rings, I would go to the all three ring section over here, just like that. And now all three rings are gonna, are gonna illuminate. Okay, all like the biggest setting, okay? Um, and that is essentially it. Like I said, when you're ready to turn it off, you can just turn it to the opposition, so just turn it, you don't have to push it, just turn it, just like that. 
and I'd obviously make sure that it's off, and as you can see, it's nice, it's nice and off. So once again, it's nice and off. It's, it's nice and it's off, okay? So look, uh, cooktop on, that light is off, therefore, all of the cooktops are off. However, that light there is telling me that it's a hot surface, so you wanna stay away from it and be safe, obviously. But yeah, that's it, obviously, like I, this goes without being said, but I'm gonna say it anyways. You know, safety comes first whenever you're using a stove top or a cooktop. You gotta know what you're doing. You gotta be comfortable with it. Always exercise safety. Always, uh, you know, you, you never wanna leave a stove unattended when it's on. Always make sure you've turned it off before you exit the area or, you know, before you look away for too long. Whatever the case is, just, just be as safe as possible. But that's basically it. That is a tutorial for turning on and off your stovetop elements. If you like this video tutorial, with sorry about the long intro, by the way, but anyways, I'll make the outro quick. If you like this video tutorial, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.